everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a bit of a doozy of a video. I am doing an entire nude lipstick comparison video. So I'm going to hit the pinky nudes, the peachy nudes, the brownie nudes. And please do understand the word nude lipstick, I mean, is completely subjective. Something that looks nude on me might not be something nude on someone more fair than me or might be something ashy and not quite nude on someone more deep than me, something that's nude on a deep person might be a good mid-tone on me. I did my best to sort of curate um, a number of different lipsticks that I think we can all agree are definitely in the nude vein, depending on the sort of tone that they are. So if there is a product I missed or that you considered nude, please do understand your nude lipstick's still completely valid. I still love it. It's just not featured in this video today, and maybe I will feature it in a future one. Um, I think I'm going to do the same with a red lipstick comparison as well, but I thought this would be really helpful helpful for finding what sort of tone is right for you, what nude in particular is good for, me, for you. And uh, let's start off with the pinky nude category. Woo! So first off in the pinky nude category is none other than the Cure Weiss Lipstick in Honor. This is basically as nude as it gets. This is a total baby doll, like true lilac cool tone base nude. Gives me those total 60s mod vibes. Really, really beautiful pale, pale shade. Moving right along, we have two Siren lipsticks, the first of which, these are from Vapor, by the way, is the shade Desire. Now, this one is very similar to Honor. Definitely still has that cool tone, but it's a little bit more wearable, has a slight more neutral sort of tone to it than that just like pure cool tone sort of vibe. So if I was ever going for that mod look, this is probably the one that I would reach for before Honor because Honor doesn't look that great on me if I am quite honest with you. Moving along to the another Siren lipstick, this is also by Vapor in the shade Possess. Possess has a really true lilac tone, also very, very cool, but again, a little bit more wearable because it's a little bit more deep than Cure Weiss Honor and a little bit more purple than uh, Cure than the Siren lipstick in Desire. So that's sort of the lineup we have going right now. So if you like a little bit more of a purple tone, that would be a good one for you. Next up, we have a nude that I think is pretty universally flattering across the board. This is the Gressa Lip Boost in Bare. Though this is quite a pale shade, even for me. It just has the right amount of pink to it, right amount of depth to it that makes it much more wearable. I'd be happy to wear this on an everyday basis without a lip liner. The formula of that is very, very hydrating, great for the summertime, and if that color's not for you. Uh, like many of these products, I have done complete swatch videos, so those will all be linked down below. Moving along to one of my other favorite lipstick formulations, these are the 100% Pure Lip Glazes. This is in the shade Coquette. We're getting into a little bit more of wearable shades here. Coquette is extremely wearable. It's more pink. It's more of a pink middle tone, but it still is pale enough to be considered a nude in my book. Basically a nude to me is it doesn't conflict with any of your other makeup, so I'm wearing a little bit more of a smoky look today so you guys can see. Um, I think smoky looks you can handle a pale lip better, that's also why I did it because some of these shades are so pale on me, but it also shows you like what lipsticks are dark and what are just a nude. And this is more of a nude to me, but again, almost like a warm mid-tone pink, but still in the vein of a nude. Moving on to one that I keep in the purse because it's such a good throw-on option. Really, really moisturizing formulation. Good to layer up. It doesn't like have complete full coverage, but you can build it up to do so. This is the Lily Lolo Lipstick in Love Affair. Really hydrating, easy to wear. This is like true blue pink nude. I think this would look good on just about any skin tone. Really, really wearable, beautiful shade. Just just a great, great option. Again, I keep that one in the purse because I know I could just throw it on in any situation and it'll be pretty good. This one is very, very pink. This is the Lily Lolo Natural Lipstick in the shade Temptation. This one is like, it's very warm, but very light. So it's it's not, it has way too much pink to it to fall into the peach category, but it's absolutely beautiful, kind of like a Barbie doll bubblegum pink. But again, a little bit more wearable because it's not as pale as Cure Weiss Honor. That color I really just can't rock without a lip liner. But this one is a really beautiful, more true pink option. Then we have a little bit of a lip balm sort of one, but I've mentioned these before and I love them. 
This one has a really nice pink tone to it, making it really wearable. This is the Well People Nudist Color Balm number no. 7 in the shade nude and i love these because again like the lily lolo you can really sort of build up the pigment has just the right amount of color sort of gives me gressa bear vibes but not quite as cool toned a little bit more in the middle good moisturizing formulation great one to throw in the purse i think that's what i'm going to do with this one as well because you don't need a mirror to reapply it then finally, in the pinky nude category, I have the shade Nude Allure. And upon looking at it, you think, oh, maybe that's more of a brown nude. Then you swatch it and you realize, no, it's definitely not. It's definitely a little bit more on the deep tone, but has a true pink base to it that's why it falls in this category and again a very very wearable one at that moving right along to the peach category i think these suit me a little bit more having sort of like a light medium olive tone complexion first up is one of my favorite peachy pinky nudes and this is the hint beauty lipstick the aria lipstick in bellini nude again this one doesn't have the most full-on color payoff upon first swipe but you can build it up to just have the most beautiful finish to it these lipsticks do also have a little bit of a lip balm at the top with just a little added bonus and again very very moisturizing and sort of relatively sheer so if nudes are like your everyday lip option that's a great one or if you just want something to apply almost like a lip balm but put a little bit of color on the lips that is a good one because of the peach tones it has this one is basically like the definition of peachy nude this is another Kira Weiss lipstick in the shade brilliant it's just the perfect sort of mid-tone this would look good again on just about everybody i really really like the shade has a nice strong matte finish to them like all of the Kira weiss lipsticks do and just a good everyday shade you can wear that with absolutely anything but it will still put enough color on the lips these are the sort of nudes that i go for on a day-to-day -day basis because i don't like to look completely washed out Moving along, we got another 100% pure lip glaze. I love these. This one's a little bit more pale in the shade Sultry. Sultry is absolutely beautiful. These have great color payoff. Again, it's a little bit lighter. It's darker than Bellini Nude, but a little bit lighter than the Kira Weiss Believe. It's absolutely gorgeous. Can't really beat the formulation on these because they're moisturizing, but not at all sheer, and do have a decent amount of staying power on them as well. Then I have another Lily Lolo lipstick. This one is a really easy everyday one. In fact, I like to even use this like a lipstick topper. This is the shade Rose Gold. And of course that tone makes you think maybe it has a little bit of brown to it. Maybe it doesn't need, maybe it's not a nude at all, but it really is definitely super, super light. So if you want something that's just like glossy with a tiny bit of color, this would be a good one for you, but it can be built up. And again, I like to put it on top of lipsticks to sort of give it that nude finish and a bit of a glossy effect as well. The Lily Lolo are great for that. Another sort of true blue nude that sort of falls right in the middle. I think a lot of you guys will be able to get away with this one. This is the Lily Lolo Natural Lipstick in Demure. Beautiful true peach tone. This one's a lot warmer than the rest. A lot more peach. Um, some of them almost have a tiny bit more brownie nude to them but this one is just true peach straight up peach would look great with some orange eyeshadow the hint beauty sweet nectar palette it would look great with really really like that one more flattering on than you think and doesn't make the teeth look um yellow which is very very nice and finally in the peachy nude category this is the henny organics bare luxury lip tint this one i thought was more of a pink tone but upon putting it on my lips and swatching it it really does have more of a peach base to it which i think is why it's very very wearable again very sheer very similar to the lily lolo lipstick in rose gold but of course this is an actual lip balm so it has really high moisturizing properties and i've done an entire review on these and we are rounding out this video with what i like to call the true nudes the more brown tone nudes this is nude like the sort of color that you would wear almost like flesh tones or just more i think brown are the most universally flattering some of them look a little more 90s some of them look a little more modern like kylie jenner if you will but these are just some of my favorite everyday lip products so first up this one is very very brown this one is when you're sporting a full-on look this is the shade naked from nudist this is just as brown as it gets but it's very very cool toned really really cool and interesting it's almost sort of like a 
sepia tone. Very, very interesting and different. I really do like this on me if I'm wearing the right kind of makeup, but this could even be sort of a bold lip, I think, because it's such a unique shade. But you could wear it every day, and there was a phase where I really, really was. Let's move along to another nudist lipstick, an absolute cult classic, an absolute must-have. This is Nudist 27 Kisses. Now this sort of falls in the pinky brown category, has a lot more pink to it, but still has that strong base of brown, which is why I think it looks good on so many of us, which is why I gravitate towards it on, on an everyday basis. This is one of my most used lipsticks of all time. It is used and abused, but has a really beautiful tone to it. Again, it's a bit more of a mid-tone than a true blue nude, but on somewhat of a dark complexion, I think this would be amazing on you. And again, I don't like really pale, pale nudes. This is something I wear like I would a true nude lipstick. Two more Vapor Siren lipsticks. This is another favorite of mine. This is the Siren lipstick in the shade Cher. Cher has a nice brown base to it, but it's a little bit more lilac-y. Again, a very, very unique shade, but still quite wearable. Just gorgeous. You guys know how I feel about the Siren formula. Very, very comfortable, buildable, like a lot of the products I'm mentioning today. So they're good for a lot of us, but I love that shade, especially come the fall months. Moving along, something much more brown, much more similar to the Nudist Naked. This is the shade Naive. I believe they released this around fall winter time last year it's almost an exact dupe for naked actually this one's a little bit deeper so maybe if you have a darker skin tone this one will be a little bit more suited to you or if you just prefer something a little bit more dark like i said totally wear this like a nude i have a tutorial using it maybe i'll link that down below as well but this is a really really great unique shade with really really strong brown undertones Probably my favorite lipstick in this entire video is the Antonym Naturel Lip Pencil. This is one of the most universally, lip fl uh, universally flattering lip shades ever in my humble opinion, something along the lines of Nudist 27 Kisses. It definitely sort of has that vibe, but a little bit more brown to it and like the tiniest little kiss of peach to it as well it's just sort of that perfect in the middle shade wear it with anything you want it will always look great and let's finish off the brown nudes with the soft nude lily lolo lip liner really really love this this is what i would pair with a lot of the pinky nudes in order to make them a little bit more wearable on me but for the swatch i did go ahead and fill in my entire lips with this this is much more of a terracotta shade so it's brown with a little bit of peach to it but you can fill in your entire your lips lip liners last a really long time or go ahead and do a layer of this before putting on something else I do actually have this underneath the 100% pure lip glaze in cherry today so that will just give my lipstick a little bit more life and longevity throughout the day and make it a little less intense red so that is it you guys that is my entire nude lipstick comparison I know this video is a little bit longer than usual sorry about that but I really do hope that a lot of you found it helpful every single product I have mentioned is going to be down below with price points and I will also have swatches of every single category as well so you guys can check it out. Please do let me know what your favorite nude lipstick of the bunch is and if you plan on picking anything out. Leave any video requests down there below as well and don't forget to check out all of our social media. We are everywhere and most importantly give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you can catch me here every single Monday and Friday. I don't want you guys to miss me because I miss you so much when I'm not here but thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Bye.